Yo, what's good, man? Welcome back to another video. It's 2021, and I know that you have not done any rebranding. Talking to you, like, you ain't even got to lie. I ain't even got to ask. I know you haven't, <laughs> but I haven't either. You know, every year or so, I like to sit down and I like to really hone in and try to rebrand myself in the business. And you're seeing a little bit of this. We got a new intro on these videos, a new outro, but I need a really crisp, brand new profile picture that I can post on all of my social media. In this video, I'm gonna sit down, I'm gonna take some new rebranded photos, and we're gonna edit these photos using artificial intelligence, something I've never actually done. So let's see how this goes. Now, usually when it comes to doing rebranded photos, I would just rent out an entire studio, get C. Ryan to come take photos of me. But I got a fire wallpaper right here in my office. And I got lights. So it's like, why not just do it myself, you know? So this wallpaper right here is gonna be the backdrop of the photos. It looks cool. I plan to have it pretty much blurred out anyway, so it really doesn't matter, but this will be a lot more interesting than just having a white wall. So this is the set. This is my key light. I'm using the Aperture 120D Mark II with the light dome. Nice soft key, really close to me. And then I'm using the Aperture LS1 panel up here above as a hair light. This is a set. I got the Canon R6 with the 16-35 f2.8. Zoomed into around a 35 millimeter just so we can get a close up. Like I said, I wanna get a headshot. I want a close shot, so I don't want wide. <laughs> And for my background, I just have myself perfectly framed in between these two things. My shelf is right here. Then I got a little bit of greenery over here on this side. And I have my R6 connected to my phone via the connection app. And I'm just going to hold my phone out of frame, fire off some photos, and hopefully we land on something that I'm going to be using for my branding that doesn't look so stupid. <laughs> sitting back down at the desk. Now it's time to edit these photos. And I'm gonna be editing these photos using artificial intelligence. Yes, <laughs> Luminar AI. Now, I've never actually used this program, like I said before, early in the video. And the reason why I wanted to put it into this, I guess, scenario, is I kinda of wanna replicate what you would be experiencing if you were using this for the first time. And also, the most bragged about thing on this program that I've heard is efficiency. So. What better way to test efficiency than <laughs> dropping some photos in there for the first time and seeing what we could do. Now, I've imported the photos that I've taken. I like this preview right here, if I'm being fully honest with you. The fact that all these thumbnails are huge and I can look at them, I can clearly see what I want and what I don't want. So I like these. Eh, that's an okay photo. I'm, I'm a favorite that. I don't really like that little, this, this pose, what was I thinking? That's like LinkedIn manager right there. <laughs> I'm gonna start with this photo, this one right here. I think this is probably like, like my favorite photo. Between these two. Okay, up here we have some pre-suggested, I guess, templates that the program is suggesting I check out. So we got experimental. Um, if we click through these, we can see what they do. Okay, that's a bit over the top, but I can see where this would be used at. This reminds me of like uh, old school Instagram, you know? Like straight up old school Instagram. Got some lens flares in there. And the cool thing about these two is I see that I can adjust the intensity of the filter if I want it to be like, you know, less noticeable, which is really cool. Like that doesn't look like a bad photo if I'm being completely honest with you. Something over the top for me, but if I saw someone using, I wouldn't think much of it. And I like this one right here a lot too. If I were to use it, I would probably take off the film burns. I like the black and white vibe a lot, actually. I really wanted this photo to be black and white, if I'm being completely honest with you. All right, so I'm gonna go back to templates. Um, just click through a couple more, see what they look like. Those are cool. Uh, let's go to the monochrome because I want a monochromatic look. Okay, that looks dope right there. Not a bad look, not a bad look. I like this one. This soulful one looks dope. Um, lighthouse, low keys, bunch of different templates. Okay, we get it, we get it, we get it. We got the influencer pack, Nighthawks. I actually like this one a lot. This one looks dope. These all look tight, man. They all look tight. I really like this one right here. This one looks dope. If I were to use this one, I would drop the, the, the opacity on it down probably half. It's a nice stylized look right there. Let's go into edit. 
uh we can do okay enhance i think that this is like a little bit of sharpness maybe like clarity you guys are familiar with clarity at all let's boost this up Round 30 looks good. Looks like a nice sharp photo right there. I like that. I like that. I see where we're going. That looks good. Okay. Composition. I'm going to crop this into a one by one because it is going to be a profile photo. So it's going to look the best that way. Erase. Oh, can we erase anything we want? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Undo that. Oh, yeah. We don't want that. <laughs> we definitely don't want that. I think my my light looks fine. I think this is a, a pretty nice white balance. Let's click that. That's a neutral tone. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. I'm with that. I'm with that. I'm with that. I'm going to probably black and white this photo anyway, so it's not going to matter at all. <laughs> so by smart contrast, I want this to be a nice contrasty image. Oh, that looks good. It's, looks good. Let's up our highlights a little bit. When I highlight it to hit a little bit harder. We got a black and white tab right here. Let's see what this does. Uh, let's do convert to black and white. Oh, that's why I have my template on half. Okay, okay, all right. So we got our template all the way on. That's really cool. If you come up with a preset, you can lower the intensity of the preset to pull it back. That's one thing that I tend to do when I'm color grading my video clips is I'll go way over the top with the color. Then I'll just dial everything back until it gets to a sweet spot. So that's cool that you can do that in this program. Now let's go back into our black and white. Let's go to saturation. Oh, we can black and white and then bring some of the tones back. Okay. Okay. All right. Now, now this is interesting. Now this is interesting. Okay. So for me, I'm a person who doesn't like yellow walls. So I can see how this can be very very impactful for the way that I like to edit stuff. So I can bring all of my colors back and then just drop that yellow out exactly how I need it. I'm gonna drop all my saturation out of all of my colors though. Cause like I said, I want a black and white image. Now we get to the creative stuff. Unfortunately, this is not a landscape. So a lot of this stuff is not gonna apply to me, I'm assuming. We got the dramatic. We don't really need the dramatic. We got split toning right here. We wanted to do some split toning. But let's see if we could do split toning with black and white. Let's see if we wanted to, we still could split tone this. We got matte. This is like our faded film look, I'm assuming. Yeah, so this is our faded film look. So I'm actually gonna fade this a little bit. We can also slim my face up a little bit. <laughs> Say you filmed on like a 100 millimeter and you wanna slim your face up a little bit or your, or, your, or your subject's face up a little bit, you can do that. Like 20 right there looks probably similar to this 20 millimeter right here, all right? Oh, we got eyes too. Okay, let's see what this does. Um, let's do iris flare. Ooh, I look like I'm supposed to be in the Avatar The Last Airbender with that iris flare. I'm gonna drop that down. I don't need that that big. <laughs> eye enhancer. Oh, it, it, it brought up the catch light in my eyes. I like that. Not that much though. Let's do like a 20 on that. Then we got the skin. Okay, I'm very shiny. I'm a very shiny person. So I can see how this could work out in my benefit. If I wanted to smooth my skin out a little bit, I could do that. I mean, looking extra glowy in the photos, you know? Now this software, Luminar AI, is super interesting to me because not only is it its own editing platform, it's also an enhancement plugin that you can use in Adobe Photoshop and Adobe Lightroom. So if you're already super fluent in editing in these other programs, this can be the enhancement that greatly increases efficiency. Like I take photos of some of the workers at the barbershop that I go to, right? And every time I take photos of the females, I never know how to in post soften up their skin or smooth out their skin or do, you know, dodge and burn and digital makeup that you can do in like Photoshop. But the fact that I could do it in here like that without any knowledge, Man, oh my goodness, that is crazy to me. That's wild to me. So I think that, you know, if you are a professional photo editor, don't think that this isn't something that could be viable for you because like I said, it could be greatly efficient for your editing workflows. It can take out the process of you having to do clone stamping and erasing certain things out of photos when you could just click on the eraser and just erase what you want and have it do all of uh, the artificial intelligence to bringing in a pattern around that to make the erase look seamless. It's absolutely crazy to me, man. These are the photos on screen that I did come up with for my own personal branding, just for me sitting in the program and fiddling around with it for a little bit longer. But you guys saw my first experience with it. It's a lot of different templates 
that the program just suggested for me that looked good off rip. I can only imagine what you could do in here with a little bit of experience. So down in the description, is gonna be a link to Luminar AI. Artificial intelligence is the future and it is super fast and it's super easy. I love that. But with that being said, man, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to drop it a like. If you guys have a comment about anything, you guys wanna ask me any questions about the photos I took, about the editing process of the photos, do that down in the description. The description, what am I talking about? Down in the comment section. <laughs> I'll make sure to get back at you guys with an answer to that stuff. If you're new here to the channel, you enjoyed this video, consider hitting that subscribe button. But with that being said, I am out, y'all. Peace.